What? Try to summarize Marx? That's not only a sacrilege, but a complete waste of time. Because Comrade Carl is supposed to be completely beyond the range of simple minds. And here we have a simple mind, a caveman. Being totally ignorant, he's frightened of everything. This is an Egyptian priest. He claims to understand the working of the elements and that they are controlled by spirits. I know more than you. That makes me upper class. And me? Working class. So work. What about me? You're a woman. Get back to the kitchen. I don't need a priest. I need a philosopher. If oxen could draw, they would draw pictures of gods that looked like oxen. Heretic! What is the force that keeps the universe in motion? Atheist! Life is the result of a perfect mathematical relationship between parts of the body. Oh, you pervert! What about me? Well, speaking as the father of dialectics, that is the art of argument, I say... Cantankerous old fart! Kill him! Don't worry about this world. There's a better one coming along in the next life. Hey, that's better. That's a load of rubbish, mister. Seeing is believing. Does that mean I get a rise? Not a chance. You're still a slave. But never fear. Here comes a whole new age. The age of faith. This is the age of faith, and nobody can believe anything unless I say so. Great. I believe. I believe, uh, what about a rise? Shut up, you stupid surf, and get back to work. There will be no more philosophers until the Renaissance. What about me? Shut up, woman. And what about me? It's illegal. Come to jail. <laughs> the Renaissance and Machiavelli noticed that the church had appropriated God for its own ends. Bacon was wondering why it was that the countries with the most nobles also had the most misery. Da Vinci was drawing dirty scientific pictures in perspective. Copernicus spotted that the world was round and Galileo worked out that it went round the sun. Descartes was thinking, therefore he was. Oh, mamma mia, isn't anyone going to burn this lot for me? Liberté! Égalité! Fraternity! <laughs> voilà, that's good rid of us ruling aristocrats. Now can I have a rise, please? I regret, not just now. But you can always find another job if you're not happy. The liberty to starve? Great! What's needed here is another one of them philosophers. That's the problem, son. Weren't you watching the film? Oh, that, yes. Well, the eternal struggle between the classes has led to progress, but the working man is never any better off. This wonderful age of reason has brought in a new and even larger upper class for you to support. The capitalist bourgeoisie. Uh, what? Your problem is now an economic one. Problems? Problems? Now, who's got problems? Me. I've got a problem. I'm broke. No problem, lad. Sell something. Sell? Are you stupid? Sell what? A little of your time, lad. Come and work for me. How much time? Well, how long were you thinking of living? I will pay you money, and all you have to do is produce commodities in my factories. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of lovely money to spend on, uh... Commodities. Have a commodity, old chap. Don't mind if I do. Hang about. If you pay for labour, and I pay you for goods, why are you so much richer than me? A capitalist has to have capital, you know, to build factories for you to work in. Doesn't belong to me. Little working class scum belongs to the wonderful company we all serve as one big happy family. 
Ask him where the profit comes from. Where's the profit come from, Squire? It comes from God. Profit? Yes, well, we have to make these savings where we can. Don't want to be. Tarvary Mushka. The profit comes from unpaid labor, dummy. It only takes half your time to produce enough to pay your wages. The rest of the time, you're working for nothing. To produce profit for the bosses. You're right, brother. Say anything about dialectical materialism. Stop, wait! I had a fascinating sex life. And, and what about? <laughs> 